Inam, good morning. Good morning, students. Uh, so, last class we have discussed in online classes the design of a state library. In the model two, we will get two problems. Uh, design problems. So one is a uh, design of state library, and another one is a uh, design of uh, skewed library. Is it clear? So, in the model two, so in the model two, we get two problems. Design of state slab bridge and uh, secondly, the design of skew slab bridge. So already we have seen uh, first bit of model one that is design of state slab bridge. We have seen what we what mean by state slab bridge and how we can design the state slab. Okay, so once again we can recall and go back to the definition of uh, state slab bridge. So state slab bridge means uh, here the deck slab is provided. Okay, suppose if you are going to construct the national, uh, suppose if you are going to construct a high base. Okay, if you want to provide the bridges to cross the rivers, streams, like it, any obstacles, at that time uh, you are going to provide the deck slab. Okay, you are going to provide the deck slab. So this is the deck slab. And these are the supports. Okay, these are the supports. So this we call it as a deck slab, and this we call it as a supports. Supports only the deck slab will rest. Is it clear? So what is the deck slab? Please, the deck slab is perpendicular to the supports. The deck slab is in proper definition. And say the what is the state slab means? The deck slab is uh, perpendicular to the support. So you can see this is one support, this is another support, this is another support, and this is the another support. Suppose if you are constructing a state slab, state slab means the deck slab is perpendicular to the support. So here the supports may be piers. There are two types of supports in which we are going to provide first one piers and the second one. Uh, Apartments. Okay, so these are the two types of supports we are going to provide uh, for the design of uh, straight slab bridge, piers, and apartments. So we can go back once again. What do we mean by and apartments? Okay, so piers means uh, you can see the longitudinal section of the bridge on which the piers. Okay, these are required. So this is the obstacle and this is the and this is the deck slab and this is the piers. Okay, piers means these are pillar-like structures. Okay, pillar-like structures and provided at the intermediate supports. Okay, provided at the intermediate supports. So this is the obstacle. So this we call it as a piers. So this is the deck slab one, deck slab two, deck slab three. Okay, what are the piers? These are the intermediate supports provided uh, for the construction of uh, bridges. So this this is one type of supports we are providing in the Bridge. So usually we will provide the piers for long span bridges. So for this span of the bridge is up to 4 to 6 meter, for 8 to 12 meter. That is long span and short span. At that time we can provide the piers. For mechanical, economical design of uh, stress leverage, we should reduce we should reduce the number of piers uh, for economical design of uh, stress leverage. So this is the piers. So what are the piers? These are the intermediate supports uh, supports provided. Uh, on which the deck slab will rest. So this is the piers. Next we move on to apartments. So apartments means you can see so this is the deck slab. <laughs> this is the deck slab on which so this is the deck slab. Okay, so this is the deck slab and this is the apartment. These are the end supports. Okay, these are the end supports on which the deck slab will Rest. So there is no any intermediate supports we are not providing because this span is very less. Suppose if you are constructing a bridge, this span is very less. At that time, we can rest this deck slab directly on the apartments. That is nothing but the end supports. So here there are two types of supports: piers and apartments. Piers are intermediate supports, apartments are end supports. So we can uh, come back here. State slab bridge means uh, the Deck slab is resting on the supports, that is, piers and apartments at perpendicular to each other. So, such type of bridge we call it as a state slab bridge. Is it 
clear? So this is the straight slab bridge. And next we can move to design of a skew slab bridge. Okay? Design of a skew slab bridge. So in the skew slab bridge, the bed slab is inclined at the top. In skew slab bridge, the bed slab. So this is the bed slab and this is the support. Okay? This is the bed slab and this is the support. Here, the deck slab is inclined to the support. It means the deck slab is not perpendicular to the support, other than 90 degrees. It has been inclined other than 90 degrees. So, such type of bridge is called as skew slab bridge. Is it clear about the skew slab bridge? The deck slab is not perpendicular to the support. So, such type of bridge we call it as skew slab so we can define once again another in another box when the alignment of the board process is three. Okay? When the alignment of the board, suppose this is the alignment of the board process is three, okay? we are providing the skew slab bridge. It means this bridge has been in, inclined at an angle with respect to Pierce fine apartments on which the leg slab will rest. So this is the main difference between uh, skew slab bridge and uh, Straight slab bridge. So it is simple. Straight, straight, straight slab bridge means the deck slab is perpendicular to the supports uh, of pairs and other points, and in skew slab bridge, the deck slab is not perpendicular to the support. It has been inclined at other than 90 degrees. So such type of bridge we call it as a design of a skew slab bridge. So next uh, we move on to the steps involved in the design of straight slab bridge and uh, skew slab bridge. Is clear? So next we can come back to all these steps uh, in more in uh, straight slab bridge and uh, skew slab bridge. So we we'll perform the uh, design uh, straight slab bridge and uh, we can recall uh, the uh, steps involved in uh, design of straight slab bridge. Okay? So here in design of straight slab bridge, the step number one is uh, you should write the given data. Okay? You should write the given data. After that, uh, after that, uh, uh, we can write uh, calculation of uh, permissible stress. Calculation of uh, permissible stresses. Okay. So for this, you need to refer the code to IRC 21000. Okay. So this is the steps. Step number two, modeling uh, design of stress average. And third, calculation of uh, calculation of effective length and effective depth. Okay? Effective length and effective depth. We need to calculate. So this is step number three. And step number four, calculation of calculation of movement due to the group. Calculation of the moment due to Pedro. And next, uh, step number 5, calculation of the moment due to LIGO. Okay, and next step number 6, so you can write here 3, 4, 5. And step number 6, uh, design of the Slab, design of the slab, and step number seven, calculation of uh, calculation of main reinforcement, calculation of uh, main reinforcement, and step number eight, calculation of uh, distribution reinforcement, calculation of uh, distribution reinforcement. Next. Check for shear. Check for shear. And last time, uh, drawing, drawing, longitudinal, drawing, longitudinal and cross section of the deck. Okay. So these are steps involved in design of straight fabric. Okay. So given data of the calculation of permissible stresses. Yeah, please don't forget to
factor, moment into control, moment into driver, extract, next main reinforcement, dissociation reinforcement, check for shear and uh, drawing down on the line of the safety backside. For this, uh, we need to use the group code that is IRC 21, 2000 and IRC 6. IRC 6 group code. Okay. So these are two codes we needed for the design of the straight slab. So same steps have been involved in the design of steel slab bridge. Okay, same steps have been involved. Only thing is that up to step number five, these steps are same. After that, the steps will change here. Okay, these steps will change here because uh, the there is no the the slab is inclined at an external angle with respect to PS and apartments called as uh, supports. Is it clear? So in the next class uh, we can discuss. Uh, that is design of the steel slab bridge. Okay, we can see one problem of design of steel slab bridge, and we can design the steel slab bridge according to the given data. Okay.